hello guys you are welcome to this video in this particular video i will quickly show you how to start trading with your royal keyboard okay i remember my humble self don nelson if you are here to register for your royal keyboard kindly click the link on the description of this video or chat me up on whatsapp or on telegram to get referral link for registration and guidance also if you check the description of this video you are going to see a link to other videos that has to do with this trading boat so with that being said we'll click on mine to make sure that we have uh, money to cater for our fuel so currently i have 48 dollars here so you can have as little as 20 10 dollars so now i need to make sure that i have money in my spot wallet so i have just 200 dollars here in my spot wallet so we are going to be using these 200 dollars to set up transaction or trade for you to see so we come back for us to set trade in this trading boat we click on quantitative so once you click on quantitative you get to see list of these coins okay you have almost 70 coins here and if you pay close attention you'll find out that some of these coins is written in orange okay the difference is because this my trading boat is on pro version so for me to turn it off i can come here and turn it off and it's off which is the way your own should be so once that is done you see all those orange coins will disappear okay so all those coins in orange will disappear the difference between those coins written in orange and this one is these ones are believed to be more fundamentally inclined they are they are they are coins with good background and they are going to stand test of time okay according to the boat company from their own research and everything okay but as a trader i am i'm conversant with almost every coin so i will need to turn up this professional back so if i turn on this professional edition i get a list of all the other coins but the ones on no range is just a signal to indicate that if you are trading this coin you need to have done your own fundamental analysis and your research all right so now let's talk about settings okay so when you click on this coin or any coin you get to see details for that coin you see one shot you see sell you see buy okay one shot simply means if i touch one shot if you look above where you see ion stroke usdt you see one shot simply means that if i initiate a, a trade with this boat automatically it will just trade it once that is one shot it will trade it once it will buy and sell once so it will buy once it makes profit, it will stop trading. But if I click on cycle, this boat will continually buy in this coin continually till the day I decide, I decide to stop this boat from trading this particular coin. Okay, so sell is the button to sell. For example, you want to exit a trading position, you can use sell. Buy if you want to start, uh, if you want to buy more. Is for example, if I've started a trading a trade with this coin and I want to buy more of this coin manually, I can use this buy option. Stop margin call. Stop margin call has to do with the margin settings, which involves the boat buying multiple times. Okay, so sub this sub bin mode will be explained later on in a separate video for you to fully understand it. Okay, so with that being said let's click on trade settings so once you click on trade settings you see first buy in amount this is where you set the first amount that this boat is going to use and buy for you for example is by default ten dollars okay so i can change it to even hundred dollars okay or one thousand dollars it simply means that the very first transaction this boat is going to do for this coin is going to buy $10 water fit. Okay. So secondly, you see open position doubled. So if I toggle it on, it simply means that this boat is going to be buying this coin double once. What do I mean by double? Now I set $10 for first, for first buy. So if I toggle this open position doubled, automatically the boat is going to buy this coin. In double place meaning buying it ten dollars two times which is twenty dollars okay but i don't want that so i have to toggle it off 
then margin call limit this is your margin call limit so by default it's been set for seven times i can change it even up to 87 or left for you but i will advise you leave it by that seven then whole position take profit ratio this has to do with the profit margin you will start the bot start taking for you for example you buy a coin immediately the coin reach 1.5 percent the bot will take profit for you then whole position take profit call back now pay close attention to this particular one what this simply means is if you buy a coin let's say for ten dollars and the coin move up to 1.5 percent and after reaching 1.5 percent and start coming down immediately it lose 0.3 percent that is for this 0.3 percent here okay immediately it lose 0.3 percent automatically the boat is going to take profit for you so now it's going to take profit for you at 1.2 because it's the profit only got 1.5 and it started coming back immediately it got to 1.0.3 immediately it lost 0.3 the boat took profit, meaning the profit it took for you is 1.2. Then this equally works in a way that it helps the boat take a maximum profit. For example, you bought a coin at $10 and the coin has done like 30%. The boat is not going to take profit as long as the coin continue increasing in price. Immediately the coin gets maybe let's say 20% and starts coming back. Immediately it loses 0.3% which is this whole position take back, uh, whole position profit callback. Immediately it drops 0.3%, the bot automatically takes profit for you. And in this case, it's going to be taking profit worth more than 1.5%. So 1.5% you are setting here is a minimum take profit zone. Okay, so be full aware of that. Then you have margin configuration. This is where you configure the reactions are or the way this margin calls is going to happen. Okay. So when I click on margin configuration, by default, this is how it's being set. Now, let me explain this for you. You can see first call simply means that if the coin starts dropping and drop 3.5%, automatically the boat is going to buy that coin two times. Okay. So the second call, if the coin after dropping zero uh, after dropping 3.5 percent it dropped another percent it dropped to four percent automatically the bot buys it four times so you can actually change these settings or the percentage you expect the coin to drop in price before you buy okay so you can actually you know put one two three four okay so we can put eight here we can put 16 here okay they just my own settings all right so you can take your time and do your settings so and i can save this so what i have just done now in this settings is i have set it that if this coin should drop to 3.5 percent i want to buy I want the boat to buy it once for me. That is just one time, you see. Then if it drops to 4%, the boat should not buy it two times. And remember that our minimum buy is $10. So it simply means that the boat is going to use $20 and buy at this stage, which it must have used $10 to buy at this stage, which means I have used $30 so far. So if the coin still drop again to 4.5%, automatically the boat buys it with $30, okay? If it drops to 5.2 percent the boat buys and all that okay and don't 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 <laughs> don't misunderstand this okay you can actually drop this thing you can make it even three calls all right so but let's leave it in seven by default then we have after margin configuration we have buy buying callback okay buying callback is very very interesting for example you purchase a coin at ten dollars and the coin did 1.5 percent okay so if the coin did 1.5 percent and started dropping and dropped 0 0.3 percent the boat is going to take profit for you okay then after dropping 0 0.3 percent if the coin drops another two percent okay 
another 0.2%, the bot automatically buys this coin back. So this simply means that if the coin did 1.5% and it starts falling, immediately it drops to 0.3%, you take profit. Then if it continues dropping and drop up to 0.5%, automatically the bot rebuys this coin for you. So that is this buying callback. Okay, so I believe it's very clear. If it's not clear, get in touch with me and I'm going to explain it very well for you. Then you see distributed and take profit allocation. Okay, this option has to do with the margin calls. So you know the margin call we selected. If we go back here, we selected seven. Okay, this seven we selected, which means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so when you come here, this distributed and take profit simply means that if the price keep falling till the boat continue buying till that seven time if the coin start going up the boat will start taking profit from the seventh sixth and five positions and it will be taking profit at the ratio of 1.3 percent so after it's finished buying the seven core and the coin move up and do up to 1.3%, automatically it buys, it, sorry, it takes profit for you. If, if it increases in price again, the same thing with the sixth core, the same thing with the fifth core, okay? So I believe that is understood. Secondly, you see sub position take profit call back, just like the, uh, just like the whole position take profit call back. But this particular sub position take profit call back has to do with this margin call and the margin call we are talking about is the seven six positions so if the number seventh position where the bots purchased like the coin dropped in price the it's finished buying the whole seven calls and the seventh one immediately it starts increasing and is doing 1.5 percent two percent the boat will not sell but at the moment the coin drops drops 0.3 percent which is this so this same 0.3 percent the same work is doing is the same work this one is doing just that this particular work is only working on this tray okay it's only working on this tray uh margin calls okay so that is how this whole thing is okay and i believe you fully understand this so we are going to be putting this to taste now so before we place a trade you can equally do a batch setting okay so let me show you for example so if you click if you come on quantitative and you look down you are going to see batch setting so when you click on batch setting you click on all okay this is where you control batch actions in this boat and you click on batch settings now anything you set here will be applied to every coin unless you take your time to edit them one by one but anything you do here will be applied so let's do some little settings so let's say my first buying amount is $20 then uh, I want the boat to take profit for me at 1.5 okay this is personal please you can leave it by default or even drop it to 1.1 okay but for this lesson I'm just trying to show you how to how you can do things you can even take this minimum take profit amount even up to five percent left for you but i advise you leave it at this one point okay so i think that is okay for me then i will save this so if i confirm this let me now show you if i click on ion again and click on treat settings you can see because i have done batch settings so the setting you know you will use often you just do it in batch settings you can see any coin I touch now, you can see the trade settings is the same because I did a batch setting. So let's now place a trade. So let me buy BTC. Sorry, that is not BTC. Let's buy BTC. So I'm just picking random coins. Take your time to research and analyze your coins before you assign the, the boats to trade for you. So I don't need to do any other settings because I've done batch settings. But if I maybe want to still change this for this BTC alone, maybe I want it to buy $30 for me, then I first I have to do that. But I have to leave it on this, okay? So I will start. Once you click on start, automatically it will ask you to confirm. Immediately you confirm, it buys this coin. 
okay and if you go to home you can see btc automatically takes the lead and if you come here you see the news the message a new buy order from binance in binance okay so the boat has actually started trading btc for me so let's buy ethereum again let's buy ethereum with the same settings okay which is 20 20 dollars so we've added ethereum let's add bnb okay we've added bnb so you can see i have started three trades here then let's add ksm please do not follow me research your coins okay i'm actually just showing you what to do so i've started trading ksm so that is four coins so let's look for the fifth one i think the fifth one should be okay let's add kick okay boom you can see so we just started trading then when you click on each of the coin mm -hmm. if you look above you see position amount which is 20 dollars which is 19.99 then average price this is the price at which you purchase this coin which is 211 dollars number of call there is no call of margin for now there is no margin call because the coin has not dropped since i purchased it okay Position quantity, this is the amount my $20 was able to buy. Then current price, the coin is currently at $210. Then return rates, currently the coin has dropped 0.3% since I purchased. Okay, so everything we've set in this boat starts working. All right, so we've just set how to trade. But let's make sure that this is actually working and let's make sure this is working in Binance. Let's you not know, just be some kind of manipulations. So when we go to Binance, let's check and see what you can see. <laughs> this is awesome. Now it has utilized hundred dollars and you can see each of these coins. We are having 20, 20 dollars, which is BNB, Cake, Ethereum, KSM and BTC. You can see that. So that is how realistic the Royal Q boat is. So I believe following this step, you can easily set up your trade. Before I forget, whenever you start operating this boat, once you, once you start trading with this boat, please do not do any kind of Binance selling with your Binance account because it will be eating you more fuel in this boat, okay? So if, in fact, you can see operation reminder is written here. When the Royal Q intelligent robot is operating, please do not operate the currency account by yourself and check whether there is a fixed deposit freezing and other related settings so as to avoid abnormal judgment caused by the system and affect your rights and interests. So this is very, very important. So once you start trade, once these boats start trading for you, do not buy and sell manually in your binance account for you to do that you just have to come click on any of these coins okay and you post your trade okay so when you post your trade you can go and do whatever you want to do before you come back but once this boat is in operation just be full out sure that anything you are doing it will be charging you fewer fee okay so don't fail and also you can see your transaction history when you come here so when you click on transaction record you can see the five coins of choice purchased okay and these are binance informations okay these are binance informations and if you equally go to binance and go to trade if you check your other history you can see all the trades okay that the boat has initiated so I believe with this, you can easily start trading.